Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I have a fellow cohort from Website Closures, Isaac Porter. Isaac works with me on a number of deals, and we wanted to bring to you a particularly cool session around ad backs. So if you've been in the business of, of looking at businesses or potentially selling businesses, one of the main pieces that we figure out as a part of the valuation review of your valuation is what sort of expenses don't carry over, don't transition over to the new buyer. Because uh, we want to get credit for that. That is a potential value piece in your multiple when we go out and list your business for sale. So Isaac, welcome. Thanks, Nate. Good to be here. Um, yeah, it's really, really interesting topic. You know, I've been been speaking with a lot of buyers and sellers. You know, you and I have worked on a bunch of deals together, and this the concept of of an ad back. What is an ad back? What isn't an ad back? When are we being too aggressive with ad backs? And sometimes when are we not being aggressive enough is something that has come up a lot recently. So I thought it would be um, really helpful to just talk through, you know, conceptually why we use ad backs and why it's very important to to think through these these non-recurring expenses and how that impacts the valuation of the business and how we go to market with, with companies that we represent at website closers. The first concept I wanted to talk through here was an ad back, in order to be considered an ad back, the it's it's something that was expensed on the p l that we believe the seller believes and and that the you know in our case the broker at website closers believes is non-recurring expense or it was a personal expense of the owner and so these are things generally speaking that go away when the new buyer acquires the company this is a case of a uh, of a business that we uh, sold recently a relatively small company and it's the case with uh, some of these businesses that the owners have a lot of personal expenses that run through the PL. and so this this is something that almost any small business owner closely held business does to reduce their tax liability it's perfectly legal it's it's in fact a great strategy to to maximize your earnings while you own the business but when you when you sell the business, all those personal expenses don't get transferred to the new owner. So we need to think about what they are and how we give the the seller credit for the cash flow that is being generated by the business. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications about new videos and interviews. And introduce yourself in the comments. Are you a buyer or a seller?